Welcome to Think Tank Healthcare. Contraceptive pills for women have been available since the 1960s, and they have been a crucial tool in reproductive health care, allowing women to control their fertility and make informed decisions about their bodies. However, despite decades of research, there are no contraceptive pills for men on the market. In this video, we will explore the reasons why there are no contraceptive pills for men, the challenges faced by researchers, and the current state of male contraception. Contraceptive pills for women work by suppressing ovulation, preventing the release of eggs from the ovaries. This is achieved through the use of hormones, typically a combination of estrogen and progestin. Male contraception, on the other hand, aims to prevent the release of sperm from the testes during ejaculation. There are several approaches to male contraception that have been explored, including hormonal methods, non-hormonal methods, and male sterilization. Challenges The development of male contraceptive pills has faced several challenges, including the complexity of the male reproductive system and the lack of funding for research. The male reproductive system is more complex than the female reproductive system, and the production of sperm is continuous, making it more difficult to target and suppress. Additionally, male contraceptive research has historically received less funding than female contraceptive research, which has hindered progress in this area. Hormonal methods Hormonal methods of male contraception are the most similar to female contraceptive pills in terms of mechanism of action. They work by suppressing the production of hormones in the testes that are necessary for sperm production. The most promising hormonal method is the use of testosterone combined with progestin, which has been shown to be effective in clinical trials. However, there are several side effects associated with hormonal contraception in men including acne, mood changes, and a decrease in libido. Additionally, long-term use of testosterone can lead to fertility problems and other health concerns. Non-hormonal methods Non-hormonal methods of male contraception include the use of physical barriers, such as condoms and vasectomy, and the use of chemical agents that disrupt sperm function. One such chemical agent is a compound called RISUG, reversible inhibition of sperm under guidance, which is injected into the vas deferens and forms a gel-like barrier that prevents sperm from passing through. RISUG has shown promise in clinical trials, but further research is needed to establish its safety and effectiveness. Male sterilization Male sterilization, or vasectomy is a permanent form of contraception that involves cutting or blocking the vas deferens, which carries sperm from the testes to the urethra. Vasectomy is highly effective, with a failure rate of less than 1%, but it is a surgical procedure and therefore carries risks and requires recovery time. Additionally, many men are reluctant to undergo vasectomy due to concerns about pain, loss of sexual function, and stigma. In conclusion, the lack of contraceptive pills for men is a complex issue that has been hindered by the complexity of the male reproductive system, the lack of funding for research, and the challenges associated with developing safe and effective methods. While there are several promising approaches to male contraception, including hormonal and non-hormonal methods, more research is needed to establish their safety and effectiveness. Ultimately, the development of male contraceptive options is crucial for gender equity and reproductive autonomy, and efforts should be made to support and prioritize this research. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to comment your thoughts on this topic. Please do subscribe for more informative health and wellness related videos.